Hello there, this is Taisha One, and I wanted to make a couple of how-to videos to help with other Mod.io mod creators out there. This is a shell house that I made just for these videos, so it's not really fancy or anything like that. I'm going to show you how to place cameras in this video so that after playing the video, or after playing the mod, uh, the player will have a nice before and after photo grouping of photos for them to view, which is always, you know, it's I kind of look forward to those and I've noticed that some of them are just kind of not set properly. So um, this house I created, I've already set my player location and in case you don't know how to do that, you click, you go to this little area here and you click on edit land about orders and you'll want to make sure that your player is right in front of the house and you can see I've already set my player but basically I'll get out of God mode I'll sit sit right here and what you do is once you got the right position to where you want to start you hit Q and that sets your player and then immediately save afterwards so at least you can get that done so my player is set there so whenever somebody starts this mod they'll start right here so the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to set the cameras. So I'm going to go to cameras by right clicking and going to camera. You just highlight over it and then lift off left or right click. So the first camera I, I'm going to set and I'm going to get myself in God mode. So it's just double tap on the space bar. I'm going to find a nice spot. I want to start maybe like right here. So I'll hit control left click once and a camera appears and right now you'll notice that it's very close and this is what I've noticed in a lot of before and afters is the PM4 and afters are a close-up of a wall or something like that so I'm gonna scroll forward on my mouse button and get my FOV to a place that kind of captures the whole front of the house and I think right about there I know that players might take this and kind of decorate around it, so I want to kind of capture enough of that in there so they'll have a nice before and after. And once I got to when I once I get to my spot that I'm happy with, I just click once. And that sets that camera. So that camera sets. So that's camera zero. Maybe I will do one over here as well, maybe from this angle. And just really quick too I forgot to mention this is I like to set my time of day for the property around 6 p.m. when I'm taking pictures when I actually save this game for the for mod just before I upload I'll usually start around 11 a.m. for the player so I'm gonna put my camera here and capture a good portion of the property go to my camera and then I just want to hold down the control button left click and then scroll out because obviously that's too close you'll want to keep in mind that during the before and afters house flipper slowly moves in or out so if you have something up really close it's just going to be closer so i like to make a lot of extra space so once i get to my desired view i'll just hit left click and that sets my next camera and I'll do one inside right here. I like God mode because you can kind of get the camera as far out of the way as possible. So if somebody, you know, puts something, you got to think of where is somebody going to put something. You don't want the camera to be blocked. So somebody might put something there. So I'm going to just put my camera up here. And obviously using a house like this might be a bit of a challenge. Um, placing these cameras so uh, at a regular house it'll probably be a little bit better where you're just doing a mod where people clean up or you know where the walls are going to be and where the furniture is going to most likely be this one might be a little more challenging but it's it was easy to do a demo with this house so I'm going to zoom out so I can get a good full view of the kitchen living room and then I'm just going to hit left click to place camera 2 and just to, for the sake of doing this, making this a little bit short, I'm going to 
just do one more camera. So camera three, that's really close. So I've got to zoom way out. So I can get a good before and after. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just kind of, whoops, obviously I'm not very coordinated. There we go, right there. So now my cameras are set. I probably could put one in here. Maybe I'll do that too. This might be kind of hard. I get a good angle. What happens if they open this door? Oh, that would not be good. So you'll, you'll want to play around with it though to get the best angles. So I'm just going to leave it at those three for now. And then once I'm done, all I have to do is hit Q. I will save again because you'll want to save a lot. And now your cameras are set pretty much as you're creating your mod. So I'll go to my mod. Well, let's take a look at the pictures. So now I have a whole list of really nice pictures. And as you can see, they're kind of zoomed out. So perfect. So go back. And that's basically how you'll want to take your pictures. I just want to make this video short, so I'll just cover cameras in this video. Hopefully that helps somebody. If anyone has any advice, I'm always open to advice. And again, I'm learning, but um, I found this works for me, so I hope it works for somebody else. Have fun.